Hello everyone, this is uh, Aaron Armstrong from Armstrong Designs. Uh, today we're doing a quick After Effects tutorial. Um, the effect that I want to show you today is called the Drosta effect. And uh, this effect is essentially what you see in the picture right here. Um, you see a cereal box, and on the cereal box you see a woman holding a tray and on this tray is another cereal box and on that cereal box is the exact same lady holding the same tray and the same box and that loop just goes on and on and on and that's the sort of effect that we want to accomplish today just sort of a continuous spiral sort of way so what you're gonna do is open up After Effects and go File New Project that will open up a new project and then we are going to want to do this to a picture so go to import and file and for today's tutorial I decided to do um, this clock here so I'm gonna click open then once that is open you are going to drag and drop this down to here this is the create new composition and then we are going to want to do that one more time. So you'll have the um, image, you'll have the image as a composition, and then the image as a composition, just number two. So, well, the first thing we're going to go click on our layer down here and go up to Effect, Pixel Bender, and Drosta. And right away you can see that it's giving us some sort of weird spiral effect. Now first thing we notice is that um, size X and size Y is the size of the Drost effect and my image isn't even 600 by 600 so let's just go look at the size of it. That's 432 by 400. Now make sure you do this for your picture. Make sure you set it to the size of your picture. And now we have this and to start with what we want to do is we just want to tighten it up a little bit so we don't have this white space here we only want the clock showing so go over here to outer radius and we're gonna drag that down a little bit which will make the whole the whole spiral the whole drost effect a little bit tighter I'm gonna leave that around 74 75 right about there and right as you can see now you already get a pretty cool effect you can see that you get a continuous spiral just going around and around and around and it's just a continuous loop. So on the left side here where you see the effects we are going to want to select some of these. So the first thing we're going to want to select is periodicity. We're going to change that to start with on 0.9 and then click the little stopwatch here. Then next we are going to go to zoom click the stopwatch and put that at about 3 for now then we are going to select center X and center Y and then we are going to go down to the bottom here select the time watch for enable pulls and put that as 1 and this is the effect you get here when you enable the pulls um, to start with um, we are going to change the center X and this is because we want to make it look like um, it uh, moves from the left side and then it zooms out and uh, zooms back in on the right side so it has like a, a sucking in effect like you're being pulled in towards it so go over to center X change that move it to the right a little bit put it about there and then right away we can go over to the very end of our slide and change center X to the left and move it over that way so that we have this sort of effect it's sliding okay okay now that we have our uh, animation for the first uh, just for center X and center Y just go down here and look at the timeline for what we have and 
what we also want to do is uh, when it gets to about the midpoint in our video we want it to zoom out so that's when you change zoom to zero and you're gonna get an effect like this it's just gonna give you a little weird little uh, thing right here um, what you're gonna want to do is on a Mac command click or uh, on a PC control click and it'll turn it into a circle or a diamond okay now we're gonna keep that like that that just makes it a bit more smoother okay so now that we have this animation where it's on the left side it's it's spinning and then it zooms out and it goes towards the right side and looks like it zooms back in Okay. now once we have finished that what we're gonna want to do is we want to make some sort of uh, just put a, a color effect over top maybe make it look older or um, retro kind of thing so I've already got some pre-made um, effects up here and to do these you're gonna go up to layer new and solid and once you have this um, first select your color that you're gonna wanna make um, it default it's automatically gonna make a big square around your um, composition that color um, so change the color I have it as blue and click make composition and then click OK so then you want to go over to mask where it says mask one click on subtract and that'll put it on the outside there and then we are gonna want to feather so mm mask feather and we are going to change that just like that and then you get that sort of effect so that's what I have just on this red layer here I have that um, shape with our feather and then go up to layer new and solid again and I created another one and this one the first layer was red and the next layer was blue and then I did the exact same thing with the ellipse tool and then I change the mask to subtract again and then once I changed that to mask then I right click I went to effects oops sorry layer styles I went to blending modes and then clicked color classic color burn and that gave it that sort of effect then I have one more here um, this one I just wanted to have some sort of um, blue sort of uh, retro effect in the top right just so when it's spinning you have just this different effect so what we did here was the exact same thing you went to layer new and solid and then once you change the mask to subtract um, all I did was sub um, make the square smaller so this is what we have right now I made the square smaller and then I moved it up to the top right of the screen oops to get that sort of effect just like that and so that is pretty much it and then once you're done that go to file export and export it um, I've already got one exported for us so let me just open that up for you bit small so it might be a little bit pixelated when I make it bigger but this is what we have you have your clock right now it looks like it's a continuous spiral and you've got these sort of cool color effects on the outside and then as we slide through the video it's look like it's zooming out as it's spinning and zooms back in just this spiral continuous loop of this clock
And there you have it. Um, I hope this helped. Go and try it for yourself. It works for many different things. You can make a draw stuff effect with anything. Um, so uh, thanks very much and have a good day.